What's up guys, Jeff Ong here and welcome to another video. So for today's vlog, we are gonna unbox the Jordan 1 Dark Mocha, so let's go. So and guys, before we start this vlog, again, I just want to give a shout out to Don't Blame the Kids. So I recently ordered their latest collection, which is the, I think this is the volume 2 of the Sesame Street collab. As in, I can vouch for this brand. Brand, sobrang ganda talaga ng quality nila. Ito nga, I got a size XL on both shirts. I got this, the Cookie Monster tie-dye. Ito yung back print niya. And if you remember sa uh, Streeter, Hall vlog ko nagkaprin ako ng parang orange na tie dye shirt from Sesame Street and DBTK din. And I also got a white shirt. Ito hindi ko pa siya na open, pero ito yung design niya. Parang yung complete cast ng, ng Sesame Street ng dito. Ayan, tapos. Basta, maganda yung print niya. And yun, check nyo sila. They open a new store at Ronax Center. And another shout out to NBA Accessories. I'm not sure about their Instagram, but I'll just put it here and link it on the description box below. And I got this, yung NBA tie band or band tie. Para, parang ganun, basta parang headband siya na tinatali sa likod kasi parang nagkaka-problem mo during workouts. Parang um, naka, nag, nahuhulog yung mga hair dito sa face and medyo nakahirita siya kaya yun I bought this for just 300 pesos yun check their store out I'm gonna put it on the, the, on the description box and kaya ako nakaganto kasi kakabalik ko lang from the gym and I want to do a quick unboxing because at last nanalo tayo sa Titan ng Jordan 1 Dark Mocha as in medyo matagal-tagal na rin ako hindi na ako win sa Titan kasi ayun nga ganun talaga ang shoe game minsan matalo ka talaga minsan mananalo ka and fortunately for this one nakakap tayo kasi medyo maraming stocks so get more chances of winning unlike no Jordan 5 na off white sale gusto gusto ko din talaga yun, pero L tayo dun kasi sobrang limited stocks lang or pairs ang nilis here in the Philippines or in general konti lang talaga yung stocks na let's jump into the unboxing of these sneakers so let's start with the box so this is your typical jordan 1 box in black with red nike and red swoosh over here on the lateral side we can see the details of the shoes and i got this in my usual size in jordan 1 which is 10.5 tapos the official color of this is sail black dark mocha black and so it's yan yeah, it's us 10.5 again i think ito yung pinakamabilis na delivery ng titan because they draw the raffle nung last week which is november 18 then i um did my payment nung thursday which is november 19 so nakasunod dun 5 to 7 working days excluding weekends and holidays so i'm expecting this package or the shoes to arrive uh, dapat earliest is thursday and latest is Monday next week. Pero medyo na paagaata yung delivery nila. Baka mas maayos yung system nila kasi uh, ngayon lang ako naka-register ng raffle. Like ngayon lang ako naka-register ng raffle na tinanong nila which branch yung nearest sa I think um isa yun sa way na para mapabilis yung delivery para yung stock mo siguro or yung pair mo is magagaling na doon sa branch na malapit sa And I so um Shangri-La na Titan so I think galing siyang Shangri Titan, um, guess ko lang naman yun, pero ayun, sobrang bilis niya. So, excluding weekends and holidays, siguro, I secured my payment no Thursday, so it took only 3 days. So, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, it, this arrived this Monday, November 21. Guys, let's pop the box open. When we open the box, we can see this yung normal tissue paper over here and it's plain white lang walang details walang pattern it's plain tissue paper then we have the receipt over here hindi na natapakita yan and this is what the pair looks like I 
Grabe, sobrang ganda talaga nito. As in, I think this is the Jordan 1 of the year. I mean, marami rin nagsasabi sa mga vlogs, sa mga articles, sa mga groups. I mean, ito sinasabi ng Jordan 1 of the year. I think because of its colorway, because of its... And I think mainly because of the resemblance niya sa Jordan 1 Travis Scott na alam naman natin na gustong gusto ng lahat. I mean, hindi naman dahil sa hype siya pero iba talaga yung quality and yung leather ng Jordan 1 Travis Scott. I hope maka-unbox ako nun soon. Pero yun, stick muna tayo dito sa Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. So let's start with the toe box right here. So the toe box is... Kaya super similar to the Jordan 1 black and white. Ayan. So parang yung iba nga nagjo-joke na parang hinaf nila yun. Parang half Travis, half black and white. Pero the combination on this one is super nice talaga and super good. So we have a black leather over here sa may toe box. And we have a sale colorway na perforated right here. So guys, this is sale ah. Ito yung, and yung ginamit nilang tongue dito is white. Ayan. I mean, hindi naman may kita yung difference masyado kung hindi kayo, kung hindi siya tingnan mabuti. Pero, sana lang ginawa na nilang sale yung, ito yung nylon part na to, yung sa may tongue part. Para, medyo uniform lahat ng shade ng white on this pair. But, ayun nga, once you lace this up naman, hindi na, hindi na rin siya mapapansin. Ayun, so this is black. Then, on the lateral side, we can see a semi-tumbled leather over here. I don't know if dahil bago pa lang siya kaya medyo stiff pa yung pagka-tumbled leather niya or ganda talaga yung material niya kasi comparing this to the shattered backboard and so rookie of the year na lang. Sobrang ganda ng pagka-tumbled ng leather niya. As in yung parang soft tumbled leather. Ito medyo stiff talaga siya. And we have a black swoosh over here. Then going to the back part of the shoes. Ito yung parang pinaka-unique sa part ng shoes na to. I mean, pag wala yung brown na to, parang black and white yung talaga siya. So, I think this is the most important part on this shoes. Ayan. Ayan. Sobrang ganda ng back part niya. And super similar siya dun sa Jordan 1 Travis Scott talaga. And, ano siya? I think this is suede or new back leather. Pero I think this is suede nga. Tapos meron siya nung parang magbabakat yung fingerprint mo once you touch it. Ayan. Let's give you a close-up look. Ayan, ganyan siya. Super okay ng leather. And I think itong shoes na to, pag ginamit mo siya, and mas naluma, mas magiging maganda yung quality. Kasi ako, I'm not a type of person na parang kinikip ko lang yung shoes. Gusto ko ginagamit talaga siya kasi mas gusto ko yung shoes pag uh, meron siya nung parang mga creases, medyo soft na siya, ganun. So, kanya-kanya naman tayong type. Yung iba, kinikip lang talaga. And um, I respect that kasi yun yung gusto nila. So, heading on over, yun nga, to the back part of the shoes. And ito yung pinaka-isang detail na, um, for me, naging unique on this pair. Kasi most of the Jordan shoes, ito, yung sa may upper heel part niya, lahat, or mostly, or 90%, ginagamit on the Jordan 1 is black talaga siya. I mean, um, sa mga obsidian, ganyan. Dark talaga yung dito eh. I mean, ito lang, I think, yung pair na ginamita ng white um, upper heel part. Ayan. Sobrang ganda niya. I mean, I mean, ito mo. Imagine mo black to. Parang plain lang siya, di ba? Pero, when you combine it with the dark mocha colorway, super okay siya. And we have a black debose logo of the wing Air Jordan over here. And let me give you a close-up look. Ayan. And we have black eyelets over here. Tapos, originally, ang kasamang lace dito is black. Pero you have an option to change it to a sail colorway, which is this one. Ayan. One extra lace lang yung kasama. And we have a, I think this is black. Black ba ito? Brown. Many hours later. Parang dark brown nga siya. And we have a dark brown. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, pero parang black. Parang brown nga eh. We have a dark brown Nike Air tag right here at the top of the tongue. And heading on over to the midsole of the shoes, I think this is a good decision na ginawa nilang sale colorway lang din because ayan, as you can see, super lean is na itong pair. And at the end, going to the sole of the shoes, ayan, this is your typical Jordan 1 sole which is, which comes in black outsole, ayan. Sobrang okay siya. I mean, ako kasi sabi ko nga before, fan talaga ako ng black outsole kasi 
hindi na, I mean, kahit gamitin nyo siya, hindi siya masyadong halatang madumi, low maintenance, and super bilis, tinisen. And guys, heading on over to the insole of the shoes. Wait, let me just remove this. Heading on over to the insole of the shoes, we can see it is just black with the Nike Air logo here. ako guys, sa tingin ko, hindi ko muna papalitan ng white laces. Kasi yung black and white, pinalitan ko siya ng cream colorway. So parang, I think pag pinalitan ko to ng white laces, baka maging magkamukha sila. Kaya I'll just stick to the black laces na lang muna. And it looks nice naman based from the fits na nakikita ko. And thank you for watching this short review and unboxing of the Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. Ako, if I'm gonna rate this, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10 because... Ayun nga, as I've said earlier, I think this is the Jordan 1 of the year because of its color combination and its resemblance to the Jordan 1 Travis Scott. Bakit, bakit 9.5 out of 10 lang because hindi siya Jordan 1 Travis Scott? Siguro, yung Jordan 1 Travis Scott, yun yung 10 out of 10 ko. Isa yun sa mga like, gusto ko talaga na pair na makuha. Pero for now, let's stick with the dark mochas kasi maganda naman siya. Siguro, papalambutin ko lang siya talaga through use kasi ayoko yung medyo stiff talaga yung leather kaya I think lalambot naman to pag ginamit siya ng ginamit and there if you have questions do follow me on Instagram at I am Jeff Ong um, pwede nyo message doon or pwede kayo mag comment sa comment section down below pero ayun nga message lang ako sa Instagram if you have questions regarding the sizing or kung ano yung mga resale shops na pwede i-recommend ko sa inyo and um, for the sizing pala of this one I got a size 10.5 my true size is 10. Some recommend to get your true size but for me, lalo na sa mga wide foot dyan, I recommend go half size up because as you can see, yung silhouette niya, no shoes, medyo slim. So, hindi siya like yung parang mga monarchs na parang maluwag talaga. Sa mga monarchs, Air Force 1, misan nag half size down pa ako. Pero for the Jordan 1, lalo sa mga wide foot, I recommend or I suggest you get half size up. Pero sa mga um, normal naman yung feet, yung mga narrow, pwede ka mag-true size. Wala namang problem because ako nagkaka-problem na ako mostly on this part. And guys, here's a quick on-feet preview of the Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. And there, hope you guys enjoyed this. And yun nga, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.